Hey everybody, we're back with another episode of How to Play Mind Test. Uh, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. My computer was acting really bizarre, but I think I've got it working now, so hopefully this will turn out. Um, something I worked on over Halloween was this lovely bit of pixel art over here that I wanted to show you guys. Isn't that lovely? Made a jack-o'-lantern here. Uh, this is made rather than harvesting a whole bunch of wool and hunting down all the right colors I kinda skimped on this one make it a little easier on myself I've got straw here from wheat that you make from wheat and I've got the uh, red desert stone so those were a lot easier to acquire than hunting down a whole bunch of orange flowers and yellow flowers and then harvesting a whole bunch of wool so it just made it a little bit easier on my part to build, and that's something you guys can think about as you're doing things like pixel art, if you're looking for a specific color, that uh, remember what you have at hand already. Uh, my main base is right next to the desert. It was a lot easier to get this reddish-orange desert stone than to hunt down a whole bunch of orange flowers and harvest a whole bunch of wool. So to do this, I actually drew this one out on a grid that I did on a piece of paper so I can make sure I got it big enough to have some uh, decent sized smile and decent sized eyes. And then once I did that, I went ahead and built the foundation and then just started building up around the outside edges here until I had it all set up and then I came in and harvested out where the mouth and the eyes should be. Now depending on how complicated your pixel art is, you may have to do more than that or uh, build the right colors in as you go. The reason I did it this way is I wanted to put the smile on the back and then put the torches inside so that it lights up so it looks like a jack lantern So if we come around the back here, you can see that even from the back it still looks a lot like a jack lantern just there's a aura around the eyes and the mouth instead of the eyes and the mouth glowing themselves. And you can see on top there I did some leaves for the stem I also could have done uh, cactus, would have been the right color, but by the time I got down here I hadn't thought about that so I just grabbed some leaves made it simple. And that's the trick with pixel art is it's not supposed to be overly complicated. Uh, you want to keep it fairly simple so that it's fun to build but still looks fairly accurate to what you're after. So here we'll go up and free move here, so you get a little better view like that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I've got my other pixel art right here from Christmas last year. You guys might remember that one. Looks a lot better now that the uh, grass has grown in. I still think I should go back and uh, put in wool or something, maybe some white sand for the pixel art itself, and then put the torches back on top. But again, that's something that you learn as you build. Um, so, if you guys are interested in pixel art, I suggest you just start building some. And you'll figure out pretty quick what works and what doesn't work. Um, learn from other people's mistakes where you can. Lost my jumps after flying. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm hopefully going to be getting a new computer here soon so that I can get videos up more regularly and I'll have less trouble with my computer. But uh, any questions you guys have, feel free to post them in the comments below. I'll try to help you where I can. I know somebody posted um, a little bit ago about their minimap not working. I'm not quite sure what's going on there with your system. You may want to hop on the forum, see if anyone else has had that same problem. Um, but keep those questions coming and any requests for things you'd like to see built. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And... We'll catch you guys next time. Until then, go build something.